He doesn't come to the earth, though. You want to bet? Surah 27, 7 to 9 says he was on earth in a tree. Can you open that up for him? Pay attention. So when he came to it, he was called, Blessed is he who is in the fire, and he who's about it. Glory be to God, the Lord of all being. Now, next verse. Moses, behold, it is I, God, the Almighty, the Almighty. So who was in the fire? Who's in the fire? I don't know. I don't know who's in the fire. So who spoke from the fire and saying it is Allah? Allah spoke from the fire. Okay, so you just, whether you like it or not, if Allah spoke from the fire, then when he says, blessed be he in the fire, you just said Allah's in the fire. Men fin nari huwa Musa alayhi salam li qurbihi minha. Now we're talking because men fin nar must be a rational being. So you either go by ta'wil men fin nar a men tajalla ila nar. Blessed is the one who is manifesting, who created a manifestation through the fire. This is what makes the most sense. Blessed be the one who is making tajalli through the fire. And it is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because this is his introduction to Musa alayhi salam. So this is what really settles and fills the gap because he's telling him that the one who is speaking to you, making this tajalli, is blessed. Is that to be harfin wala So this is the position of Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah. That the kalamullah, which is the divine attribute, is not ascribed with a letter and voice. What do we mean by this? The actual attribute which is qa'ima bidhat. So when Musa alayhi salam spoke to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, what happened? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala removed the veils from his ears that he was able to hear the divine speech, which is the attribute. But this also means that the, the attribute is also heard not only with the ears, it's heard with everything. Because the, the divine attribute is different to human speech. Human speech is composition of voice, a voice box and a tongue and teeth. The divine attribute is an attribute with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this would mean on the day of judgment when all the servants are standing, everyone will, will individually talk to Allah. How will they all be able to individually talk? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will unveil for them according to their capacity and according to what is revealed to them. Unveil to them what? The divine attribute of Al-Kalam.